What's good, YouTube? And today we have another tutorial video. Uh, I, I should have done this a lot sooner, but I kind of uh, was, I guess, when, wasn't told but recommended to do this. So I'm going to do it. Uh, the easiest way to get the May monthly awards, uh, Mark is Semyon, Simeon. I think it's Semyon. I don't know. Um, I have this card already, so. Uh, I'm going to walk you through the easiest way and the efficient way to do it. I think this took me about two hours. I know some people have done it in an hour. Um, but I'm just going to walk you through the simple way to do it. No, I will not be showing you how to do it because I've already done it. Therefore, I cannot go back and do it. Uh, first thing you want to do if you didn't do it already. Make sure you go in and do your top smile moments for the month of May. So start with this one, work your way all the way up, make sure you get them all complete, and do not, I'll repeat that, do not sell any of them. Uh, and do not get duplicates. I had to buy only one card, so we want to save up your stubs in case you have to do that also. So, after you get your tops down moments done, if you haven't done them already, you want to go in... And you want to do the player of the month moment. So you can just go up from this screen. Or you can go into the single player modes moment. And go monthly awards month of... And go in May. This is the easiest way. So when you complete a moment, you'll be taken back to this screen. Um, do all of them. They're not super difficult. The Austin Meadows one. And the Brandon Crawford. And Marcus Semyon ones I think were difficult. But even then, I was able to do them. And then, once you get all those, and you unlock, so, like, you start doing them, you're going to unlock this Austin Meadows. Go into your 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 team, and this is my main swag. I made a whole nother lineup just to do this. Um, As you see, Austin Meadows. Each player has a specific mission to their I guess card or whatever, but they have their specific mission. Now, after you do your moments, go in your missions. Now, this is what I would recommend. I have my phone here, and what I did, as you can see, I went in and wrote down... Uh, I don't know if you guys can see that at all. There you go. Is I went and wrote down the missions. So, what you want to do is, first, I'm going to focus on these three first. Tally 30 total bases with tops now. Hit 5 homers with tops now. And tally 15 strikeouts with tops now. So what I literally did is I went went on here. Filled my entire team with tops now cards. Went into a CPU game. On rookie. And knocked three those 3 missions done in a single game. That's what you want to do first. That's going to be super fast because you're knocking out three for the price of one, basically. You're knocking three games out in only one full nine inning game. On rookie, even. Then, once you want to start unlocking these cards, you're going to throw these cards into that same lineup that you're using for all the, the tops now moments. Or missions, excuse me. Now, a disclaimer. You don't have to do all of these. The ones that I think are the easiest are the ones that I, I did, ultimately. Like, tally eight total bases might be easy for you, it may not. Or, I'm excuse me, that, that was moments. Missions. It's, oh, it's only three. So then you hit two home runs to the Winker, which I didn't do. Total bases with the Cabrera. The Tapera. Kluber and Wheeler one, I highly, highly recommend doing because they're super easy. The Abreu one, I would do. Um, and if you can get the Winker done, but you can kind of pick and choose which ones you should do. Definitely, you should be doing the first three, the homers, bases, and strikeouts with tops now. And I would be doing the Kluber, Wheeler, and Tapera for sure. Those are the easiest in my opinion. So as you work along, you can kind of go in and, and knock them out. So I'll kind of show you what I did. I'll give you a little example here. So I got my squad. Oh, another tip. Say you need moments or missions with Crawford, Ramon Laureano, Jesse Winker, Jose Abreu, 
and Austin Meadows, plug them all top of your lineup. That's that's what I did. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in to a play versus CPU. I I just want the Orioles on rookie. It makes things easy. Doesn't really matter which one you go to. So I'm I'm literally gonna okay. What? Eight relief pitchers. What? Hold on. I don't know what this is. So apparently it won't let me show you. But I think I might know another way to go in and show you guys. I'm just gonna put this on on Bryant or Bauer. Put this on the All Star. Or actually we'll go rookie. Okay, so I am here in custom practice because I couldn't jump into a CPU game for some odd reason. Um, but this is kind of the same thing. Just just keep in mind, make sure you do this in a play for CPU game on Rookie. For uh, example purposes, I'm in custom practice because for some reason it didn't want me to show you guys. So I'm just going to pretend that Jack Peterson is Jose Abreu. And his mission is tally 10 total bases. Well, okay, that was bad. <laughs> I, I, was, I was practicing a legend before I was recording this. Um, I just need to get a hit here. Okay, we're... Okay, hold on. I'm gonna get it. Okay, so that's probably gonna be a double. Right there, that counts for... Two out of your ten total bases. And what I did is I grabbed my phone. You can grab a piece of paper and write it down. But I kept track. So like here, right here, I got the Abreu one on. You can, you can kind of see it. So what I'm going to do is I change that zero out of ten to a two out of ten. Uh, let's see if, there we go. So what I did is I literally kept this open in front of me and just played. And every time I tally a stat, I would add it to the total. That way you don't have to be keep back and out of games, trying to remember everything. It's right there in front of you. You're playing on rookie and you're going to knock it out like that. Uh, but yeah, that's really all it is. Um, and then you have to do the collection, which I will show you here in a second. So when you go into the collection... You have to have your tops now. This is why at the beginning, I told you guys to do your tops now. And as you go along the way, you can lock in the player of the month cards to add to it. That's why it is super important to get your tops now moments done. And that and you didn't sell them because you're going to need them. Um, but yeah, that you, you have to get those done to do it. And that's because they're worth 15. That kind of eliminates... Um, some of these missions that you have to do. But yeah, that's, that's pretty much the basics of it, guys. Uh, you also get tops now as you go along. So if you don't have certain cards, but you're grinding through here, you can get them also. But that's really about all it is. Oh, this 42 pack, you can either keep it or sell them for a lot of stubs. At the time of this video, or recording, I should say, I'm going to go on the market, whoops, and just search by 42 series. They're going for about 30k a piece. So you can either sell them or keep them and work towards the Jackie Robinson collection. Uh, I don't expect these to drop anytime soon, and this video will be out relatively uh, like two days after. So I don't expect these prices to drop at all. But yeah, that's really the gist of it. I personally think it's the quickest way to do it. Um, but if you guys have any questions, I'm always peeping at the comment section. Uh, feel free to just leave a comment about your question and I'll get right to you and help you uh, get through this. But that's going to be it for this video. If you guys like this video and if this video helped you in any way, please hit that thumbs up button. Please subscribe if you are new and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.